So the next section of this uh, demonstration, uh, as I promised, is going to go into follow actions. And what follow actions means is that there are actions that one clip can perform and send to another clip to do something else, whether that be to play the first clip again or to stop playing or just to play any clip. In our instance, in, in this case, we are going to make it play any uh, beat. So um, let me show you how we can do that. We're going to select all of our clips and we're going to open up the, you'll see the L right here, and that's the launch mode box, and there it is. This little box allows us to open up the, launch, the follow actions. Now let me explain follow actions a little bit. It's kind of like your, uh, like the weatherman who says, you know, there's a 20% chance of rain or an 80% chance of snow as we've been having here lately. That is going to be controlled with this box right over here. If we increase from zero to 999, of course zero is no probability, 999 means it's gonna happen. So, you know, we can select a random value here. You can get mathematical about that if you choose, but really, we just want it to happen as much as possible because I need to demonstrate this for you. So that is the probability slider right over here. You've got two uh, different probabilities available. So I'm going to, you know, just raise both of them. The next uh, box right up here allows you to select the actual action that you're going to use. So you can see you have a selection here. You have stop, play again, previous, next, first, last, any and other. Any and other are the ones that we're going to focus on because those are the ones that make control one clip to, or rather tell uh, one clip to just play any other clip or uh, any, really to tell you the truth, that is probably something that can be best explained in depth and there are plenty of tutorials right here at Ask Audio um, with follow actions where it gets really technical and in this case we're just going to select any and other for the next one. And we're going to move on to the next column right over here where you see a one. This means that the action is going to take place every, every bar, every one bar. So if you wanted to extend that as far as time is concerned, then you can, of course, increase that. We want to keep it at one because we want it to just happen really quickly because for the sake of demonstration, that would be what would make most sense. Um, so we're going to keep that at one. Let's go back to one and zero here. Lastly, we have the legato uh, button here, and we're gonna click that, and the reason for that, it, I'll, I'll explain that actually after I show you the action. Let's say we're done right here now, and we're gonna check out our follow actions. We can play any one of the clips that we have here, and I'll show you what happens now. So the clips are now playing almost as a drummer would, changing every uh, bar. Again, you can extend that, you can make that happen however way you'd like to. You've got all these different parameters, which I hinted towards, uh, but I encourage you to experiment with. Now, I asked you to turn on the legato because this allows the action to take to start taking place, or the following action, right in the last place where the last, the last action left off. So if the groove is playing, to, 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 and the next one is coming, it's gonna, go, it's gonna start playing from there. If you don't have the legato mode enabled, then it's gonna start playing the next clip from the beginning. And that may or may not uh, create a disturbance in your, uh, in your groove. So, so that's the follow actions. And again, this is from basic to a little bit advanced, but really this is a way to create a, 
an improvisational drummer. Uh, for those of us that are uh, instrumentalists using Ableton Live, like guitar players, um, Eurorack synthesizer players, you just want to improvise with your grooves, this is a great way to do that. And y it's not just for grooves, you can also use that with melodies and um, chords and, um, and MIDI messages to do random randomization uh, things that you couldn't possibly do if your hands are tied up doing something else. That makes sense. So that is how we achieve this randomization method within Ableton uh, using clips. Now, 